All right, here we go. This one is going to be a 38 special test. And today we have some Buffalo Boar. This is 158 grain lead semi wad cutter hollow point. That one does have that gas check on it. It is a solid lead round. It does have a huge hollow point cavity. Really wide, really deep. And this one's loaded pretty hot. So it does say advertised velocity is 1,000 feet per second. Normally when I test it, I get uh, well over a thousand. So we are going to be going out of our Taurus Ultralight. That is the model 85 two inch snubby. And it looks like we have just enough room in this gel. We could probably sneak one by. So it is our 10% block. We do have our uh, jug backstop just in case we do get that pass through and our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. So like always, we'll set our chronograph up in front to hopefully pick up the impact velocity and we'll see what this one can do. This one is the FBI load. All right, we're stepping back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. Looks like we might have went just a little bit high, but that's okay. So our impact velocity on that was 1034. So it's definitely a pretty spicy one, nice and stout. I tested it the other day also, and we got 1047, I believe. So definitely pretty consistent. All right, so from the top, it's looking pretty good. You can actually see it a little bit better against that black table. It is this one right here on the left, but did pretty good. You can see it kind of collided with that 40, but not too bad. But definitely looks like a jumbled mess in there. So this one did take a little bit longer than our normal rounds to expand. But it did come in, get some major expansion, and then it did start to flatline pretty quick. But this one is solid lead. No uh, sharp edges or anything for cutting. So it looked like it just kind of glided right through. But definitely a spicy one out of this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, out of the snub nose. So we'll definitely have to try it out of uh, at least a four inch to see how much more velocity we get. So let's check this round out. All right, check that thing out. We got some major expansion on this one. I was expecting uh, a little bit of fragmentation, but did really, really good. Peeled back all the way. Check that out. Huge mushroom on that one. Pulled it almost all the way to the base of that round, base of that bullet. You can see that uh, copper gas check in there. That is to stop all that lead fouling and keeping your board just a little bit cleaner. But major mushroom. That is one awesome round right there. Usually, if I uh, do carry a snubby, that is the round that I have it packed with. But definitely a great round, and it performed really well. There's the bottom of that round. And the top, so there we go. That was 38 special. I forgot to mention that it's plus P also. 158 grain lead semi wad cutter hollow point plus P. It is the old school FBI round. There we go. All right, and here's the cross section for that one. Um, there is two tracks. Don't pay any attention to this one. That's from a different test, but this bigger one. But, uh, you do have a lot of damage on this one. Looks like it drug in a lot of that fabric. A lot of that cotton t-shirt. Got a nice big split on that. Big old star pattern. But it's looking pretty good so far. So let's uh, cut this one open. Alright, so like always, here's our bottom, here's our top. So let's check out the bottom first. Looks like this one actually came in in probably about half an inch. Looks like it was a little bit delayed opening up. But uh, came in, nice deep path right there. But uh, did some really good damage after it started opening up. Really nasty looking in that gel. Really deep cuts in this one actually too. But that gel looks crazy. Compared to our normal uh, kind of copper jacketed bullets. This one did really, really good. Here's that top section. You can kind of see that path right there. And opened up. And that one was a really deep hollow point cavity on that. 
I really made a mess of this gel. Normally we have a lot cleaner cuts when we have that uh, copper jacket on it, but this one's crazy, all jumbled up. But yeah, you can really tell on this side how much damage it's actually doing. That is very impressive. That one was moving out pretty good too, even out of that snubby. So like I said before, we'll try it out of a four inch maybe and uh, see what kind of results we get from there. See what kind of extra velocity we get out of that. But there we go, there was that FBI load.